Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. Today I'm going to be creating a autumnal themed fresh cake arrangement. Now, oh, it's often the small things like the cake flowers that actually get forgotten or left till very much to the last minute. So by doing something in wet foam, you could actually do it the day before and then transport it to the venue ready made so that it's easy just to pop on top of the cake. So we've got that beautiful colour palette in autumn of yellows into golds into oranges into reds. So a really warm colour palette to work with. So the flowers that I'm going to be using today for the cake is some cottonus. Now this has the most fantastically almost aubergine colour tone to it with a paler vein in it. So that's what I'm starting with. You might also know it as smoke bush. Then I've got a couple of roses. Now this rose is atomic. Now, now the lovely thing about this rose is that it has almost the entire colour palette all in one bloom. So you've got the oranges into the terracottas, almost a burnt orange there into the reds and then ending up with almost a burgundy tone on the outside. So a true autumn palette just in one bloom. Next, I've got some Viburnum compactor. Now, these berries are absolutely glorious, really glossy and shiny, uh, and they really stand out. They really create an impact. And then finally, I guess everybody associates chrysanthemums with autumn, really, um, but I've got a little tiny Santini spray chrysanthemum here, and this one's called Doria Orange. The orange description may be slightly misleading because it is more bronze. It's quite a pretty little spray um, chrysanthemum. It's almost a button shape really. It has a nice green centre to it. And then if you look closely at the petals, they've sort of got a, a paler gold outer petal and then deeper into the centre, almost going towards a brown colour tone. So again, a true autumn palette. So that's my fresh products that I'm going to use. Now my sundries, apart from my usual floristry toolkit from which I'm taking scissors and I'm taking a 12 millimeter clear anchor tape on this occasion, I prefer to use clear tape when doing anything on a cake because you actually can't see it. I've taped that in to a small piece of biodegradable wet foam and a little tiny cake saucer. What I've done is folded the centre of the tape over so it takes less surface area up from the wet foam and then bound it round twice so it secures quite happily on the base of the dish. I'm going to use my trusty wooden slice here just as a replica of the cake. <laughs> so enjoy!
So I hope you've enjoyed my little demonstration today on how to create fresh cake flowers. Hopefully it'll inspire you to have a go at something like this yourselves, not necessarily just for a wedding cake, um, birthdays, anniversaries, any event really. And as always, I've got some top tips for you. So top tip number one, always double check that the flowers you use, if they're fresh on a cake, are not toxic. So always seek advice. You can visit our website, which is www.trianglenursery.co.uk, where there is a list under help and advice on the flowers that are toxic. All right. And then top tip number two, if using um, flowers without foam, so you're wiring, make sure that all of the wires and any stems are sealed with parafilm, especially if you're inserting them into the cake. Obviously, you don't want any health and safety implications. All right, so wire them, take them with parafilm, and make sure that no wires or fresh products actually get inserted into the cake. And then top tip number three, it's a good idea to find out what the dimensions of the cake top or whatever cake you're using actually, what the dimensions are before you create the design. You don't want your cake flowers to actually swamp the cake and likewise you don't want them to look insignificant. All right, so thank you so much for watching us today. Don't forget to like us, share us and also don't forget to go over to our YouTube channel where you can subscribe get lots more tips, hints and inspirational ideas on flowers that you can create for yourself. And also don't forget to comment in the box below because we'd love to hear what you think about our designs. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now.